Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to add our Angular Grid, which will give our app the Pinterest feel. So this video will be mostly me guiding you through the HTML and CSS changes. You can find the files that we've changed, just those two, the main HTML and the main CSS in your folder. I already have them loaded up, main CSS, main HTML. So if we take a look in our app.js, I've added Angular Grid already as a, as a dependency. We are going to be using this Angular Grid. Now if you search for Angular Grid, the first one that you find is a very popular other kind of grid that we won't be using. We'll be using the one found right below it, which gives a Pinterest-like responsive masonry grid system. So I've simply copied over a lot of the example data that you'll find right here, including the CSS and the animation. In our CSS, I've added quite a bit, starting right here under the dyna dynamic grid and going on down. as well as towards the bottom I've added some CSS for our icons that we're going to be displaying underneath the image. So the image I should say so the look that we'll be displaying will show our image have a title and the description and underneath that we'll have a thumb up to like and a little eye for the number of views. In our main HTML, you'll see the changes start right here under Angular Grid and goes all the way down towards the bottom. The, air, the information right here is customizable as far as the grid and the gutter size. So grid width will determine how large your image is when it is being displayed. So I've set this to 275 for now. Gutter size is just the space. We give it a name, call it gallery, and when we're iterating over the images, we now have to put track by dollar sign index for it to work correctly. We are always using the UI SREF in order for it to accommodate Angular Router. In a later video, when you click on one of the looks, it will take you to a single look description page, and that is what this syntax is for look.description.substring will trim the length of our string of our description to 100 characters in length and towards the bottom here we have some stubbed out coding for when we are adding votes as well as for displaying the amount of views for each of our looks loading data right here at the bottom will be for when we add our infinite scrolling so that does it for the code overview Let's take a look at how our app has changed. And as we can see on enter we had a nice little animation. And now you can see the difference in the look and feel of our site. It's kind of cool. We have the images that we've added with their title and their description and this isn't isn't being populated or working correctly but you can see how it will look when it does work okay so that does it for this video in the next one we will take a look at how to create the my looks page